Okay, so we got the countertops in and the sink is mounted. Um, still got to do all the connections and everything. We got the gray water tank secured yesterday. All the polyurethaning is done. We're going to get one more final coat on the top surfaces on these. But uh, for the mean today, we're going to work on upper shelves here. Going to do a full shelf the whole length of the, the lower counter here. Going across, going to be an open shelf, but um, I'm going to actually have puck lights mounted in it um, so that's going to be a little bit of a different deal so I'm going to run through how we uh, how to do that so and then we'll get all right so yeah so we're on the bottom of the two uh, shelves they're going to be open shelves but uh, so how do you mount lights in something like that and so what I've done is um, I happen these are the these are the lights like you can get the six pack I believe we'll we'll, we'll link that on uh, uh, through Amazon there but um, basically you need to lay it out evenly um, the top one the one is an eight foot shelf um, so even break is about 22 wait what was it I'll I'll say but anyway it was no 19 and 3 16 is what it worked out to for uh, even spacing on those ones. Uh, this one is 68 inches, so that's 22 and 5 eighths, a little strong for the, the space there. And rather than trying to go just part way into the halfway through it or three quarters of the way through and then trying to slip this in there, what I did is I just drilled all the way through and now these will be able to mount in through the hole, kind of like that, and cover and then be pushed in. And on, this is actually the side that's going to be the bo the upper side of the shelf. So I'm going to put a notch here on all of these places, and the, the light will actually be on the other side. And then the wire will run through that little chase right there, and then run down to the end. And then I have a piece of quarter-inch maple that I'll cut to the same size as this, and then that piece will sandwich on over the top of it and cover the, the holes and cover the lights but so it'll look like a one inch shelf that just has the lights mounted right in it. And then I'll have a, a nice edge on the, uh, that I'll be working on putting on as well to keep things from falling off the shelf. So, but that's how I'm doing it so far. And uh, I'm gonna notch out the lines for the wires now here using my handy plunge cutter. And I've got this one set up and ready to go. Actually, why don't you come on over on this side. So again, my, my handy, the awesome Makita, plunge saw so I've marked a line where I want to put it there just go to here and then I want to set my depth differently for this so I so you loosen that guy up there and then that moves up and down to determine how deep the the blade goes and so we push a little button and I only want to go in about that far so that's where we set it tighten it up So it's only going to go in a quarter inch, three eighths inch in. Set it on the track. Go a little deeper. I'm going to tie you to deeper still. Probably make two passes. These wires are not real big, but actually, it'll probably work. Let's see. Yeah, um, just got to go a little. No, nope, that's good. So that's all it takes is just to make a little thin thing. And so when the the wire will come up from on the other side, and then I'll just run it right through the channel like that, and then connect them together. And uh, you won't even see, you won't see any wires, and the lights will be underneath. And actually, this would work for uh, a solid or like upper cabinets as well if you wanted to do it that way. Um, Thing there too if you didn't want to worry about you know it's going to be up inside the cabinet you could just put a, a little block or a, a little piece over just where the hole is and then things wouldn't fall through uh, or you could put a whole piece on the bottom of the inside of the cabinet too depends on how how anal you are so that's it all right so this is how it looks once the uh, puck light is in there and uh, i made just a single single groove for the wire to stick through the back and then uh, again, I've got this quarter inch piece and I, what I'm going to do instead of pinning it down or gluing it onto the other piece here, 
is I've just pre-drilled some small holes and I'm gonna use some nice little screws. That way, if for any reason it has to come back apart, uh, it's very easy to take apart and uh, deal with the lights if they needed to be need to be dealt with. And we can just uh, take care of any maintenance or issues that arise.